Hello YouTube, I hope everyone's day is going well. Welcome to my tutorial on the basics of flight planning. To start off, I'll give you a basic overview of the contents of the video and then we'll jump right into it. If you, have al if you already have a flight plan planned and you know how to plan it and you just don't know how to plug it into the G1000, go ahead and take a look at the description. I have a timestamp there and you can skip right to that point in the video that we load it into the G1000. As for you that want to know how to plan it as well, stay tuned and we'll jump into it. So to plan a flight plan, there's a really good website called Skyvector. Now this website is free. You can Google it, log into it, no problem. Uh, I don't think you even need an account. So it's a great website. It has all the VFR stuff that you might need, all the IFR stuff that you might need. Um, the only downside of it is it doesn't work internationally. It is only for the U.S. So if you're international and you want to plan a route in Australia or Russia or somewhere outside of the U.S., there is another good website that you can use called SimBrief. Go ahead and check that out. The only downside of that is it's a subscription. I think it's about $9 a month. Looks pretty much the same as this. Great website. Just costs money. So... To start out, and I'll, I'll make another video on SimBrief at a later date, and I'll go over the whole SimBrief and how to do that as well. But for SkyVector, for now, if you log into it, you come up with this page here. And you can move around the entire United States, find any airports you want, and any routes, airways, waypoints, anything you want. So once you find your destination airport, and your departure airport. Then we're gonna go over here on the top left to flight plan, and we're gonna type in our departure and destination airport. For us, our departure is gonna be KFIN for Flagler, and our destination is going to be KPIE for St. Petersburg. Now, type all that in and then press enter, and that will give you a direct route of flight. Now you can stick with this if you want to, but for me, I like to spice it up a little bit. I don't like flying in one direction for two hours. I would rather have some turns and have a little fun. So let's plan the en route phase. So for the sake of the tutorial, and this will show you how to do pretty much everything that you could do in planning the route, we're gonna use a VOR, we're gonna use a Victor Airway, we're going to use a GPS waypoint and a GPS airway. So the first waypoint that we're going to use is Ormond Beach Vortac. And if you want to find these on your chart, super easy. Look for these little boxes. You'll see Vortac or VOR or VOR DME. And they'll look like a little box like this. They have the frequencies here and they have a little bit of a description. The other way you can find them is this blue hashed line that's in a circle around a point this circles the VOR so the VOR is going to be in the center of that this circle in this case it's on Ormond Beach Airport so if I were to type in Ormond Beach into this into the en route box it wouldn't register it it wouldn't know that we want to go to the VOR so we have to type in the VOR and the VOR, uh, the VOR identifier is OMN. And we see Vortac and VOR here and OMN. So we're going to type in OMN into our en route box and press enter. And that'll take us from Flagler to Ormond to our destination. Then we're going to type in an airway. So for this example, we're going to use Victor 152. And we can use Victor 152 because we already plugged in a point that is located on Victor 152. So how you could figure out if a VOR or a Vortac is on an airway is you can look at these blue light shaded blue lines. And if these light shaded blue lines are kind of pointing towards the center of this circle, then it is located on the um, on the Vortac. And we're going to use Victor 152 and go to Kaiser. 
So how would we load this into the flight plan? So after Ormond, we're going to type in Victor152. And then we're going to press Enter. And that'll put us on the airway of Victor152. Now also, if you're wondering why there's two sets of numbers here, Victor152 and Victor437, that's because there's actually two airways overlapping each other. Now it doesn't matter which one you use. They're both the exact same airway going the exact same direction. Just keep in mind that if you use one over the other, they might split off when you get farther down the airway. So for this example, we use 152 and we come over here and say it's still pretty long legs. So say we want to make another couple turns. Maybe we want to get off at Kaiser right here Kaiser so this is a GPS waypoint and we can because our flight path is taking it us through Kaiser we can use Kaiser as an exit point so instead of PIE let's type in Kaiser and then of course press enter and of course it's a free website so it might be a little finicky Kaiser There we go. Okay, so now it's having us exit on Kaiser, which is what we wanted. Now, let's take Tango 210 as our next airway. Tango 210 or Tango 353. As I said before, if they're on the same airway, it doesn't matter which one you use. They just might split off later. For example, Tango 353 goes south here, and Tango 210 goes a little more to the west. So for this example, we'll use Tango 210. So after Kaiser, we'll type in Tango 210 and press Enter. And then we see we're going Kaiser, Tango 210, all the way down and exiting on Visor or Visor and going to our destination. Say, for example, we didn't want to exit on Visor and we wanted to exit on Varzi instead. Varzi's waypoint right here. We would just delete Visor and type in Varzi. And there we go. Now we're exiting on Varzi. So now our route is planned. We have Flagler to, this, to Ormond, on to a Victor Airway, over to Kaiser, then on to a Tango Airway, over to Varzi, and then direct to our destination. So that's that's planning the flight. Now we're going to learn how to load it into the G1000. Okay, so here we are in the plane. We've planned our route, and now we want to load it into the G1000. So first things first is we're going to want to come over here and press the FPL button. FPL stands for flight plan. And we're going to want to plug in our departure airport and our destination airport. So the departure airport is going to go into the origin tab and our destination airport, destination airport is going to go into our destination tab. So we're going to highlight where we want to type and then we're going to use the small knob on the FMS. We're going to use a small knob, rotate it once to the right and then rotate it again to start typing. And we're going to type in K F I N. Then we see Flagler. We know that's the right airport, so we're going to go over here and press Enter E N T. We can skip this for now, so we're just going to press Enter again. And then we see that Flagler has highlighted on our MFD. Now we're going to want to type in our destination. So we're going to use big knob, scroll down, and highlight the bar under destination. Use the small knob to activate the waypoint. And then we're going to type in the waypoint that we want, which is KPIE, as for Petersburg. I and E. St. Petersburg, that's the one we want. So we'll enter, enter again, and now we have our route, which we can see on the MFD. 
So now we're going to want to type in our en route phase. So we're going to go down and highlight below en route. Use the small knob to get our waypoint box. And then our first waypoint is Ormond Vortac. So we're going to use our small knob to type in the identifier for it, which is OMN. And then we're going to press enter. And here, be careful, because there might be multiple options that come up. Use whichever one is correct. For us, we know that Ormond is located in Southeast United States, so it has to be that one. So we're going to go ahead and highlight it using the big knob, scroll down and highlight it, then press enter. And we can verify that this is correct by looking over on our MFD. And we can compare our MFD to the, to the sky vector on which we previously planned. Then we're going to want to load our airway. So our first airway is Victor 152. So we'll come over here, we'll highlight under our last entered waypoint. We're going to hit menu. Then we're going to hit load airway. If it's not highlighted, use the big knob to highlight it. And we'll press enter on load airway. Then we need to tell it our, our airway that we want to be on and where we, where we want to exit. So we'll use our small knob to bring up this box. And then we'll go down and highlight Victor 152 and press enter. And then we're going to tell it where we want to exit, which is Kaiser. So we'll use our small knob, scroll down the list until we find Kaiser, highlight it, press enter. We'll verify Ormond, Victor 152 to Kaiser. That's what we want. So we'll use our big knob to go down to load, highlight it press enter and now our airway is loaded so we'll see over here on the MFD we have Flagler, Ormond, Kaiser, Direct now for our second airway which is our Tango airway so we'll go down and highlight the blank space below Kaiser press menu highlight load airway press enter tell it which airway we want, which is Tango 210, where we want to exit, which is Varzi. There's Varzi. Highlight it. Enter. Verify. Kaiser. Tango 210. And Varzi. Load it. Highlight load. Then press enter. And then we'll verify. We have Tango 210 exiting on Varzi and we'll come over here to our MFD and we'll make sure that this route generally matches up with what we planned. Should look the same. And that's how you plan and load a flight plan into the G1000. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out with your flights. Thank you for watching as always and uh, Stay tuned for more. Please let me know, as always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, I'm also working on a Discord, so if somebody has a question or a longer question, um, you can pan over to the Discord and ask it in the um, questions text channel. Or if you also have a video that you'd like to suggest, you can also suggest it on there. Um, more videos to come. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.